trying to tell y'all what to be ready for. I'm just trying to tell y'all what I wasn't ready for. I'm just excited to tell y'all the tea because I regretted this surgery so much the first four days. Like, I, I felt like I was just the dumbest. YouTube VSG one week, two week post out videos did not prepare me. The hemp helps. Your girl was not ready, like, at all. What I want you all to keep with you for week one of VSG surgery, this tip is gonna get you through. This tip got me through. Hello, friends. Welcome back to another video here on Plum TV. I'm back today with another video. Another video here on Plum TV. If you are new here, welcome to Plum TV. Here we let real shit be real shit. That is it. So you all, hello you all. How are you? How are you? How are you? I miss you all so, so much. So y'all, as y'all can see from the video, this is week one BSG versus week two BSG post ops. First, before I get into this video, I want to say I am so sorry to my Plum TV VSG Instagram page because I know y'all have been waiting for this video for the last two days and I'm recording this day the same day I'm posting it because y'all I have been so tired and I'm gonna explain all of that in the video I haven't seen you all since surgery so I want to say thank you so much for the prayers thank you so much for the um speedy recovery um messages all of the love all of the support all of the prayers all the blessings y'all thank you so so much y'all really kept me uplifted during all that pain I'm just excited to tell y'all the tea because YouTube VSG one week two week post out videos did not prepare me like, the shit did not prepare me at all. I, I was not prepared for the pain. So, I really want to be in detail in this video to put y'all up on game on what y'all need to be expecting for the surgery because your girl was not ready, like, at all. It is officially week two post-op VSG. Today is, like, literally the day. I have a lot of information to tell you all, and I had a few questions on my Plum TV VSG Instagram to answer, so I'm going to get to those at the end. Just go ahead and get right on into this video. I like to go ahead and start with the stats. So, if you don't know already, you need to go back and watch those videos if you don't but I started this process all the way back in August August of 2020 and I started this process at 311 pounds I'm 19 years old my BMI was 50 um I was very 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 unhealthy um my eating habits my eating relationship my just my whole entire relationship with food was like really really bad so I started this process in August you guys and I got approved in September November I got approved in November for sure, yeah. I got approved in November, November 16th, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I started that process. So when it came the point, when it came to the point of me getting approved, y'all can go see how to get approved and everything like that in the videos linked above. Once I got approved, I had got my weight all the way down to 285 pounds. The start of my two-week liquid diet, my 14-day liquid diet, mine was really 12, I was 285 pounds. I was 285 and after the liquid diet on surgery day i weighed in at 272 pounds as y'all know in my other videos i lost 12 pounds on the liquid diet so that was pretty pretty good i pretty much lost like almost a pound a day it, that was that was really really good surgery day y'all saw me i was 272 pounds let me go ahead and tell my week one stats before i get into week one the so week one i was 260 pounds so I had lost a total of 12 pounds in one week. Seven days, 12 pounds. That's almost two pounds a day. Almost, almost two pounds a day, okay? We're gonna start with week one. I'm about to put y'all on game about week one. This is what you need to be expecting because as y'all saw in my surgery day vlog, I'll talk to y'all the day after surgery. Like I didn't even get any filming in the day of surgery. Got to surgery, y'all. Y'all saw how that went. Week one, boom. Off the rip, after surgery, you're gonna be in and out of it. You're not even gonna really know what's going on. I stayed in the recovery room, as I let y'all know in the um, video, I was really pissed off, but I hardly remembered it. I was really going in and out, and I wasn't seeing who I wanted to see, so I was kinda pissed off about that. So, with that, I went to my room. My mama was in my room. I'm not sure about y'all, but this is my first surgery, so my biggest advice, what you need, to, as far as what you need to be prepared for that first week, especially like it's like right after surgery, be have somebody with you that you're really close to that you really love because like I couldn't wipe, I couldn't take a shower by myself. Like um, I feel like people really underrate the pain, and it wasn't even so much as the pain, but the discomfort. Like even now, I still feel like really tender. I'm on week two, as y'all know, and I still feel kind of like on the inside I can't move too much because I feel like if I move too much something might mess up like so be prepared for that have somebody with you that you really love don't bring no friend 
Don't bring no friend that you just, you know, cool with because you, you're gonna need them. And I wasn't about to have the nurses doing that for me because I just don't like that. So, have somebody that you really love, that you're really close to there with you. Just because, you, I don't know, if y'all know how y'all are under surgery, I didn't know how I was gonna be. So, I was just really, really happy that both of them were there. So, as far as the next days after um, surgery day, in that first week, prepare to struggle to eat. Again, as we know, everybody's different. I did not eat until day nine, day nine, post-op, almost two weeks, almost. Like, I literally started eating last Friday, um, last Thursday. I started eating last Thursday, and I didn't start eating for real until almost midway into my first week post-op. Be ready to expect, A, you're hurting, B, you don't know if you're hungry. C, you haven't ate, so you're gonna think that you're hungry. I was like kinda on the verge of dehydration, but like seriously, prepare to struggle to eat, but prepare to have to force yourself to eat. Prepare to have to make yourself be like, okay, I need to sip on this bone broth. I need to, you know, sip on a protein shake. Like, you're not going to want to. Prepare to not want to. Nobody told me I wasn't gonna wanna drink a damn shake when we post-op. Nobody told me that I wasn't gonna just not want to eat anything at all for the first two weeks. Nobody told me that. So prepare to prepare to push yourself to eat when you don't want to. And I know that's going to be kind of hard for some of us because we're coming from a whole I can't stop eating relationship with food. But now you're going to have to tell yourself, okay, you need to eat, you need to get something down. Expect that. As far as pain, heating pads are essential. Week one post op VSG, okay? Nobody told me that. Y'all did not sell me justice for this surgery, YouTube. And I'm very, very mad at all of the, not all, but most of the VSG people who post on YouTube because y'all did not tell me a lot of this stuff. If I didn't have that heating pad, I probably would have died. Like, I did not leave that heating pad. I needed my heating pad. Anytime me and Zach walked anywhere, he knew I needed my heating pad. And that what that's really what got me through the night. So make sure you have a heating pad because basically the pain, you're not gonna wanna stretch. It's literally gonna feel like your stomach is this whole side has been cut off, and then you can't, you got this little stomach, and you wanna you wanna move, but you can't because you feel like if you do that, it might break. And I have staples, so I was just really, really uncomfortable. I regretted this surgery so much the first four days. Like I, I felt like I was just the dumbest ass 19 year old. Like I told my mama I was crying to her. I love my mama because she, I'm just the biggest baby, but like, I was like, mama, I'm just, I'm done, like, like, why did I do this, like, I'm so lazy, like, I felt so bad, y'all, I, I was telling Zach, I was telling my mama, I was like, I regret this, I'm done, what, why, why the fuck did I do this surgery, like, I was over it, so, expect for the first four days to be kind of regretful, and that's gonna be due to the pain, and just the, the, you know, the retransformation's just, that's just what you're gonna go through. You're just gonna go through some pain and you're just gonna, you're just gonna feel just kinda frustrated. So be ready to be a little bit of frustrated. I'm just trying to tell y'all what to be ready for. I'm just trying to tell y'all what I wasn't ready for. You know, be ready to do these things because, you know, you're gonna have to or it's gonna be kinda rough. You're gonna be like me, recording a video and uploading it the same day and just, all out of whack schedule you're gonna be like me if you don't think about these things so yeah y'all that was basically week one what i want you all to keep with you for week one of vsg surgery this tip is gonna get you through this tip got me through okay every day gets easier that's just what it is every day gets easier week one be prepared be prepared for the pain be prepared to just you know be be prepared to be uncomfortable and be prepared to adjust to your new life so get ready get get ready get ready and make sure you are serious about what you're ready to do and what you're wanting to do that's week one let me tell y'all the stats for week two post op i am 200 and 60 pounds okay your girl got a style 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 so if y'all don't know what a style is style is basically where your weight comes to a heart you come to a plateau in your weight i was like doing good doing good doing good oh now i'm just chilling i'm playing okay 
So I did come to a style the second week. Am I discouraged? I'm sorry, I'm gonna you in But am I discouraged? Hell no. I'm okay with this style. The style is telling me, and what the style is telling me to tell you all, that by week two, you know, you, it's going to get so much better that your body is gonna start expecting things from you. Like, Zach tells me all the time, you know, babe, we need to go walk, we need to start getting more active and stuff like that because now that my brain is understanding, okay, this motherfucker not eating no more, cool we in starvation mode because i don't eat because i'm about to tell you all what y'all need to be expecting for week two but basically i don't want y'all to be discouraged if y'all ever come to a stall when you're week one week two um post i vsg because we haven't been eating so much we just did this liquid diet and now we're hardly eating liquids after this major surgery so now that we're able to eat pureed foods you know we're starting to introduce more things to ourselves you know i have to start doing more activity so, I'm, I was cool with the style, you know, I, I haven't gained any weight, which is great, you know, I'm very happy and I'm very thankful for every single pound that I lose because you girl can't find on Okay, let me, let me stop. But seriously though, like, every single pound is a blessing, so don't feel bad if you're having a style because it's really normal, now it's time to really work the tool. Like I told y'all this from the beginning, this is a tool, this is not a get skinny quick. So, I'm very excited about starting to work out and stuff like that. So, week two, what you need to be ready for? Be ready to start getting active. That's my main thing. Get ready to start, you know, get ready to stop doing the on the hard, easy part. Like, because the eating, not eating, that's like the hardest, easiest part. And it's hard to explain because basically, like, it's hard to do the liquid diet, but then after, it's hard to eat it all. So, after you're done with that, be ready to start getting active. Be ready to level up because week two, now that you're eating parades, you know, you're probably getting a little more sugars. You're probably getting the more this, a little more that, whatever, whatever. So be ready to be more active. Be ready for that. When it comes to food, week two, like I said, week one, you're not going to be wanting to eat. Week one, you're not going to be doing any type of physical um, excess activity, anything like that. Week two, you're going to be doing the exact opposite. So week two, be ready to drastically change in your eating style okay me real deal y'all saw me in mug bangs but y'all don't know how i eat for real like the only people that know how i eat for real is like my my family and zach like i eat like patrick with the um crabby patties like when he would breathe them in i eat like that so be ready to change. Week two, be ready to change all of that. Like, be ready to truly, like, change the entire way you eat, the way you think about food, the way you think about it's time to eat, the way you think about, ooh, I'm ready to eat this and everything. Because, listen, you're not going to be able to eat a lot, okay? And it's going to kind of piss you off. My addiction was, like, my taste buds. Like, I would fiend just to, you know, like, have something, like, real deal, y'all. Like, I would chew on some of that chicken and spit it out just so I could taste it on my tongue and be satisfied. Like, that's, that's pure, like, crackhead. So, be ready to not give yourself the cravings that you're going to have. Because cravings, week two, cravings don't go away. The fact that you want to just eat and have something in your mouth doesn't go away. Um, snacking, binge eating, that feeling is not going to go away. Um, and people told me this in videos, but they didn't they didn't push it like they should have. Like not going to just want to not eat at all because eventually you're gonna start, you know, you're like, okay, I can't eat now, but you're gonna start wanting more of the things that you're starting to like, the things that you're starting to eat, you might want more and you're not gonna be able to have more. So be be ready. What can I say to be ready for week two? Be ready to be kind of restricted. Be ready to be restricted with your food. Be ready to be open because you're going to have to start introducing more things to your body. But be ready to be very restricted with how you eat because it's going to be restricted. You're not going to be able to eat how much you're used to. And that's kind of the mind thing. And if you eat too fast, it's going to hurt. So be ready to learn a lot in week two, y'all. I do have a few questions from my lovely, lovely VSG, Plum TV VSG Instagram. Make sure y'all go follow me on there because that's where I post all of my business, all of the tea. And make sure the people and the ladies I choose. So make sure you go follow these ladies that I'm about to mention um, with these questions on Instagram right now. Go follow them. I love all of them. Shout out to y'all. Bougie Lux, my girl Brie. Okay, make sure y'all go check out PlumDBeauty.com and check out my boo. She asked me one thing you thought you couldn't live without, but you realized you could. Excessive eating, y'all. No cap. This surgery mentally has molded. Like, I was already mentally on another level 
you know, from the average 19 year old, just the average African American woman, Generation Z individual anyway. It has molded my, my mental so, so much. Like I am so much stronger than I was before I started this process. I am way more mentally strong than I ever thought I was, trust me, because I never thought that I could live without eating how much I wanted to. I never thought I could live with that, but I can. Thank you for asking. One thing you learn from this process, I mean, I knew I was that queen, but I'm like that queen. Like, I control what's in my life. I control what comes to pass in my life. I control what I want to do. I control the best version of me. I control what I accept into my life. I control that for me. I control my accomplishments. It's all me. I've learned that I am way stronger than I ever thought I would be way stronger than I ever thought I could be. And that's something that I've learned from this process. So make sure you go follow her at Bougie Lux. Now I got Caramel Wave, Caramel Wave, whichever you like. What was the worst part? Don't sugarcoat it. First, about, first four days was the hardest part, off the rip. The first four days, be ready for that because the first four days it was hell. Um, I was in pain, I never felt good. I don't like taking hydrocodone, the, the, the hemp help <laughs> but yeah basically be ready to be in some pain be ready to be really really uncomfortable and be ready to regret it no sugar coat this shit is gonna hurt it's, it's gonna be really uncomfortable and it's gonna hurt you're not gonna be able to move you're not gonna be able to stretch it's just hard you can't you can't hardly move so be be ready for that pain and uncomfortability because it's, it's very uncomfortable but shout out to your booty make sure y'all go follow karma wave she sleeved it underscore i'm six days post i just wondering how much liquid you were able to drink per day. Y'all, no cap. I didn't drink. My mom was yelling at me every single day to drink something. She was like, baby, you need to eat, you need to drink. I mean, you need to drink some broth. Like, I did not want to drink anything. The only thing that I really, really liked were some Gatorades. And I would literally have this much to sip every hour. I did not drink a lot. I did not get down um, a lot of a lot of water or protein shakes until day eight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't tell you sooner, but I did not drink. I'm just such a horrible influence. I didn't. I didn't force myself to because I wasn't ready to do that, and I didn't know that that was going to be required of me. So make sure you force yourself. You know, get something in to to be okay because I don't want any of y'all to go to the hospital for dehydration. So basically week one BSG versus week two. That was pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Public TV family. Here will be like real shit, be real shit, that is it. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified anytime I post a video here on Plum TV. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.